I'll recognize next the member for Scarborough Guildwood. Thank you, Speaker. I'm saddened to rise today to speak to this issue. Our nation continues to process the brutal reality that another incomprehensible act of hate-filled violence has taken place in one of our cities. This act of premeditated murder of four people, three women and a man, has snatched away three generations of a family and orphaned a nine-year-old boy. While this brutal act of violence does not reflect the core values and beliefs that we aspire to in our province and our country that we call home, it is a devastating reminder that hate and intolerance lives here too. As we mourn the deaths of this much-loved family and reflect on the scenes of members of our communities praying under guard, it is important that we grapple with the ugly truth that life for some people in this province is characterized by worry and fear. We must not let this act of terror shake our confidence in each other and rob us of our sense of community. The teachings of the Quran emphasizes that the way to fight hate is through love. In the wake of this attack, it is important that Canadians come together in solidarity to offer unconditional support to our Muslim brothers and sisters. And this is evidenced by the many vigils that are taking place across our province. Feelings of grief, disbelief, and outrage. People are shaken, and they need to be affirmed that they have a place in this province. Together, as Canadians, we must take action to make our country safe for everyone. Ontario must redouble our efforts in standing against Islamophobia, anti-Islamic and anti-Muslim sentiments. We must actively condemn in the strongest possible terms any violence, hatred and discrimination against people and reaffirm our common humanity. We are a diverse and inclusive province. Let's continue to walk in love and peace.